Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to another running log week in review uh, for the last week of January of 2021. First week in the books and feeling really good about it. Um, so yeah, before I go into this, uh, this week I ran 94 miles. I had a tempo workout. I had a fartlek workout and a really nice long run. So those are kind of the highlights. Um, but yeah, so thanks for uh, joining and let's dive right into this. All right, starting off the week as usual on Monday morning, we had uh, easy 10 miles at Green Lake, followed by six 15 second strides. I felt really good. Um, body was well rested after the weekend and ready for a good week. I did not double on Monday. Um, just wanted to kind of get the week started and stay fresh for Tuesday and um, yeah, made that call. So Tuesday morning, uh, here we go. Our warm up at Magnuson for the tempo workout. Uh, typical warm up, and now let's get into the workout. So, the workout itself on Tuesday, Tempo Tuesday. Uh, honestly, this workout was a lot harder than I would have liked it to be. The goal was uh, Coach Fox had me doing a four mile tempo, and then three minutes of just jogging rest, and then a two mile tempo a little bit quicker. And it wasn't crazy fast. It was supposed to be four miles in 20 minutes, and then two miles in 940. Um, and I think honestly, I just went into it thinking it would feel easier than it did. So then with my expectations, once I actually got going, um, got two miles into that first four miles, it was kind of hard and I wasn't just, I just wasn't feeling great. So that with my expectations made it a tougher session that I would have liked, but I got through it. Um, as you can see here, I ran 1956 for the four miles and then 921 for the two miles. And then I did some strides on the uh, turf fields. So. All in all, it was fine. Um, just kind of very straightforward mileage, uh, tempo mileage, but didn't feel great. Kind of tired. Coach Fox told me to really recover on Wednesday. So got my double done, or my so my cool down, I got my double done Tuesday night, nothing special, five miles. And then Wednesday morning, he said, just run an easy 55 minutes, slow, recover, take your time, get a lot of sleep, all that good stuff. So just capped it in an easy eight miles on Wednesday. Uh, one and done, no double. Then Thursday morning, luckily I was feeling a little bit more refreshed. Um, easy 10 miles again with strides in the turf field, getting ready for Friday's session. Um, 646 pace average, pretty bog standard. Uh, can't really complain. I just, it's pretty uh, middle of the road Thursday morning. And then uh, followed it up with a nice slow double in the evening, another five miles. Uh, so far this week, the weather's been good. Um, pretty warm, a little bit wet, but like in the late high 40s, low 50s. So very solid. Um, and then, okay, getting into Friday. So Friday morning, um, I was still feeling tired. The workout was eight by two minutes hard off a minute easy jogging. So a fart lick, uh, I did it at Green Lake and I did a normal just 30 minute run and then just kind of went straight into it. Uh, I was still feeling pretty tired from Tuesday and I really didn't want to overcook things. I kind of just ran probably five minute pace. Oh, here's the thing. Yeah, I probably ran around five minute pace for the two minute segments and then closer to six minute pace on the off segments or a little bit slower. So as you can see here, 4.34 miles and uh, 527 per mile average. Um, honestly, like I just didn't feel great. I kind of just, you know, got this one done, try not to dig too deep, really listen to my body, um, did my cool down and then double that night, a little under five miles, and really just tried to focus up on getting recovered and ready for the long run on Saturday. So that was it. Um, now moving into Saturday, this was big long run for me. So Coach Fox told me, you know what? You're feeling tired from Tuesday, recover on Wednesday. I told him I wasn't feeling great after the workout on Friday. Uh, and he said, that's all good. Like you're running good mileage, reassured me. And he just asked me to do a little bit more of a pickup in my long run this week. Usually he just says, you know, go off field 90 to hundred minutes and come back a little faster than the, the time you went out. And for me, that has ranged between like 540 and 535 pace on the way back um, for the last number of weeks. Uh, but this week he said, run 25 minutes at 520 pace, uh, somewhere in the second half of the long run. And, you know, just try to turn over the legs a little bit, nothing crazy. And I'll tell you what, I felt amazing on this long run. Um, 
I'm gonna hop in here and actually just look at the mile splits real quick because it was it was truly just I just felt so good and I was really happy that after a long week you know mileage after a number of weeks now um, workouts didn't feel very good but just kind of reassuring myself that like the fitness is there I'm just tired I'm in a pretty high volume of training right now so it is to be expected and I was really happy that I felt so good so anyways let's look at these mile splits here so yeah as you can see um, 635, 643, 632, 619, 610. So first five miles right off the bat, I kind of just started out pretty quick, honestly, and got down to six minute pace relatively quickly. Uh, I did start at Green Lake uh, this time as opposed to kind of closer to my house. So it was a little bit flatter to start. And uh, as you can see with the elevation, I had a lot of negative elevation in that first five miles, but that being said, uh, I got out to my sort of flip point on the Burke, and at that point I was already running in the 540s. And honestly, I was just letting my body relax and that felt good. So I was really, really pleased with that. And then when I flipped and started the sort of on section of this sort of 25 minutes on, um, it was surprisingly relaxed and felt good. And honestly it felt like a good, like conversational hard effort, if that makes sense. Like definitely not tempo pace, uh, but also, you know, you could, you could tell I was working hard, I guess. So, um, but yeah, 517, 523, 525, 517, 516 for that sort of five miles of up tempo. And I, I just felt good. I don't know. It was, it was funny. Cause like, that's faster than I averaged yesterday for my four mile fartlek in the middle of a long run. And I feel like that kind of just goes to show where I am right now, aerobically, um, you know, just naturally working down that pace in the long run felt way more comfortable than sort of alternating pace in a fart like environment. So that kind of tells me I do need to work on my speed a little bit and really put that emphasis on the track work and the shorter intervals uh, in the coming weeks as I get ready to race on the track. But the strength is there and this long run really affirmed that. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, 17 miles and 553 average very solid. Uh, and then later that night I did a five mile double, nice and slow, 729 average. Um, again, I really like these long run doubles because I feel like you do the long run in the morning, you're tired and you're achy all day long. And then you kind of go out for that easy shakeout, even if it's just a walk, like just moving around low intensity helps just kind of like move things around in your body, get the blood flowing again, heart rate up a little bit. And I've found that that helps me feel so much better the next day. I wake up on Sunday feeling way better than if I had just not run. So really like the double on long run days. Um, and then yeah, easy Sunday, uh, hit six miles, nice and slow, just jogging around um, at Green Lake, felt really good. Um, really recovered, took that day nice and light. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of my week in review. Um, the last 10 weeks, I was actually just looking at it. I'm gonna post a video kind of breaking down my weekly training, what it looks like, how I actually take those 90 to 95 miles and divvy them up throughout the days, kind of my thought process, how I maintain flexibility and all that. So um, keep an eye out for that video. I'm excited about that one. But yeah, I was looking over my mileage and the last 10 weeks, uh, I've averaged a little bit over 90 miles. And just, you know, it's easy to kind of get bogged down day by day, just putting your head down and getting the work done. But taking a step back and kind of appreciating that that's a long block of time with high volume and pretty good quality work workouts as well. Um, it's just, it's nice to know because I, yeah, just been training alone for so long now. And uh, that's the longest time I've ever put that much volume together back to back consistently, feeling healthy, um, hitting my workouts, not burning out. Um, everything's kind of clicking right now. And I'm really happy and excited for what that's gonna mean moving into some track races, hopefully this spring and into the summer. So um, anyways, I'll keep you posted. Thank you guys for following along. Um, I've been really enjoying having this sort of training log diary, um, even if it's just for me to look back on in the future, I'm um, having a lot of fun with it. So uh, if you're also enjoying it, uh, I appreciate that. Appreciate your time and uh, yeah, stay well and have a good weekend.